There are lots of different materials we can use in making the lever crane um, but a very important part about the crane would be where the parts move. So this part here with a string attached that's the winder so I'll just show you the winder in action there. As you can see you can see what we call it a winder it's winding up or releasing the string so there it is winding up and pulling on the long lever arm but there's another piece of wood here that's not a winder we're not twisting that one and that would be called a pivot so the pivot and the winder are usually just rods of some type but there are lots of different types of rods we could use we could even use plastic straws so they could take the place of the wooden ones in my model here so plastic straws could be used these are the rods that are present in this one look they're quite thick those rods we could have used thinner ones and these ones are all painted green or we could use ordinary wooden rods like th these are even thicker in your model we are going to use the thicker wooden dowels so when you buy this in a shop people call it wooden dowel so your dowels are going to be just like these except just plain not coloured and the shorter one is for the um, winder sorry the shorter one is for the pivot and the longer one is for the winder and the reason we have a longer one for the winder is you just need more room to put more uh, string on it so it just gives you that bit more room to have the string attached so there's our long winder and the pivot is a bit shorter so the pivot is the bit that holds the lever arm so just as a reminder look the short dowel is going to be our pivot there we are look and the long dowel is going to be our winder so that one there's the pivot that one there's the winder that the string's going to go around to make a more complicated crane we might need two pivots and two winders but just for the moment the basic crane or lever crane needs a short dowel for the pivot and a long dowel for the winder. Fabulous.